Hello, this is Jay Kilroy of Instrumental Solutions Incorporated in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Instrumental Solutions Auto Reel Profiling System. What you see before you now is the home page of the Instrumental Solutions Auto Reel Profiler. There's a lot of information on the home page. Let's first discuss the power information on the home page located in the top right hand section of the page. Uh, you'll notice a lot of information here. Main voltage, UPS volts, UPS amps, UPS enable, battery temperature, UPS running. Your first question might be, what do you mean by UPS? Does this thing have a built-in UPS that runs this entire system? Well, no. Uh, what we have is we have a built-in uninterruptible power supply to protect the system board. Uh, the system is Linux based. An uncontrolled power loss could result in the loss of data. And our primary concern at Instrumental Solutions is to collect and protect your data. And uh, this UPS monitors this inbound power right here. It's 14.97 volts currently. And in the case of a sudden loss of power, it will keep the system board up long enough in order to execute a orderly shutdown and protect your data. Currently on this system, the UPS is not enabled. We're running the system in the shop uh, in a test mode, so we disable the UPS just to, just to protect the batteries. The battery temperature information, uh, just uh, for your information, it does give you a good temperature indication in the interior of the case. And is the UPS running? If this said yes, that would mean that the UPS was currently supporting the system. The next thing to look at on the home page is the live winch status window. Here it is, stands out pretty well. Information we have here, script name, is there currently script running? No. Uh, instrument, this is the name of the driver currently being utilized by the system. Uh, we support all popular SOND manufacturers and, and some unpopular. So if you have something that you don't see, give us a call, we'll be glad to support it for you. Version of the driver, version number home is the instrument currently at the home position. It's critical that you can determine at certain times the physical location of the device because these do run in an unattended manner. So the, the device is currently at home. What is the current position? Zero feet. Uh, is it in position? Yes. What does this mean? This means is the device where you last told it to go? Uh, virtual limit are either of the positive or negative virtual limits in effect no you define a parameter in this system which is maximum cable length if you were to define say a maximum cable length of 10 meters and then attempt to pay out 12 meters of cable at 10 meters you would activate the virtual limit switch and it wouldn't pay out past that status online the system is currently online and operating and the door is closed uh, there's a safety switch in the door which will deactivate the motor if you open the door. It's obvious safety reasons. The next thing to look at on the Instrumental Solutions Auto Reel is the data file section. See the link down here in the bottom left? Go ahead and click that link. This brings you to a basic uh, directory listing of the data files. And uh, what you'll see here is uh, a month, day, hour when the file was written um, and uh, the files are all saved in a tab delimited format hence the XLS uh, Microsoft Excel file extension. Click on a file you can view it. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff here. Uh, header, payout, date, times, you'll always see first. That's the actual cable payout. Then the date and the time and then all of your usual data fields which could vary from instrument to instrument. Another thing you can do here is right click, save as, save file as. You can download all of your data files in this manner if you want to. Another thing you'll see in this directory will be uh, log files. You'll notice the logs here that are in a gzip format. Uh, what we do is every night the instrument, the profiler, will uh, start a new log file. We'll take the old log file and we'll zip, uh, gzip the log file 
up and store it and it's configured to keep a certain number of days 30 60 90 days or whatever and it gzips it to save your storage space uh, you'll also get information charge log that's the uh, ups charging log any debug information if you have debug activated error log and event log so anyway that's the data files like i said very straightforward stuff if you need your files in a different format let us know this is just very popular we can do the files in any format you want so anyway again let us know if you need changes there the next thing to cover on the auto reel is the system settings page click on the link up here on the toolbar and a whole bunch of information comes up to you network settings where you can change the uh, IP address settings for either of the uh, Ethernet interfaces the uh, site name the system time you can uh, use uh, network time protocol you can use system real-time clock you can manually set the uh, uh, format and uh, you can choose your time zone as well you set all of your passwords here your web password your FTP password and your admin password you want to make any changes on this page it's going to require an admin password to do it so let's say we wanted to change the site name and we're going to change it to auto real test hit apply okay great and your admin password and hit enter now it's going to come back and tell you here uh, please reboot a uh, system for you host name take effect uh, so nothing's taken effect yet uh, you can also see here on this page where we have system shutdown and restart uh, functionality so if you did want to restart this uh, you choose restart hit the reboot shutdown button enter the password again continue and your changes are applied 